All right, here's target M4. I can solve a system of two equations and three variables graphically. A line or no solution is the situations that we've been dealing with. So you'll notice that I've got one of them done for you ahead of time just so you can see what it looks like. We're using the same strategies we used on M3. We're using that whole X, Y, and Z intercept method. So you can quickly graph this one. I noticed the X intercept would be two, four, four essentially. So you'll notice that the orange one or reddish looking one that I graphed hits at two, four, four, and I've got that one. Then the other one would be, oh, this is gonna hit at four, two, four. So I go four, two, four, and stand it up and connect. And then what you're looking for is the two places that those two planes cross. You'll notice that the orange and purple hit right here and they also hit right here, and so you connect those, and that is your solution, because one plane is essentially cutting through the other. So that's kind of how it works, and you know this plane is here, and it's getting cut through by this orange one here, and it goes through and it makes that uh, you know somewhat vertical line. Okay, so then if we go over here and try one that we haven't looked at yet uh, together, so if I look at this one, okay, this would be x-intercept four, Y intercept six, Z intercept three. So I go four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three, one, two, three. And there is my red plane because I'm using my red pen. And there it is. There's the first one. Could shade parallel to the axis. And then I want to see where, let's go green, is going to hit it also. So then this one would be four two, three. So I go one, two, three, four. Then I go two, one, two. Then I go three, one, two, three. And so just like um, the other one, I hit it a couple common spots. And so then this tilt is the same. So that one, I can see right away that this is my line where those two hit each other. Now you will be seeing things that don't cross each other, so you won't get a line. And that's a situation where you would have one that would look like this because then now they would be parallel this little plane back here is sitting behind the other one it's kind of like two parallel pieces of paper uh, when that happens they don't intersect so if you were to look at these two pieces of paper if I stand them up oh look at that they're parallel you can see right through them if I tip them back the way they were you can't really see stuff but essentially that's what these are these are parallel and then your other scenario is what if you're missing a letter well remember they're gonna be kind of tilted because we don't we go uh, we move in the direction of the variable we don't have, and this one is going to slice through the other one, and so that's what that final one's going to look like. So you could try that and check your own work.